Hello guys, in this session we will learn about Python for Data Science. That is a roadmap how you can begin with. Let me introduce myself. I am Amit Dewan, the founder at Studiopedia.com. I am also running a YouTube channel Amit Things which is getting more than a million views per month now. So here is a YouTube channel guys. Now let us begin with the session. Here is the agenda for the session. At first we will discuss what is data science and why do we need it. Okay. With that uh, you must have seen different terms associated with data science. We use artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and data science all together. So we will see a small difference between them using a Venn diagram. Forms. The easiest way to understand data science would be using its forms, the basic forms I'll describe. I'll also display some live examples. Then we will also work around the programming languages for data science. We will see why we always say Python for data science, R for data science, not Java or .NET for data science. We will understand that. So for roadmap we will also include how you can run your Python projects easily. With that we will also understand the basic libraries for data science, the Python libraries. Which four libraries you can begin with and begin your journey of data science. With that we will also understand the data science for freshers, its role. Okay, as well as for experienced professionals. After that you can ask me questions on comment section as well. Let's begin. At first you can see what is data science and why do we need it. So guys there is structured as well as unstructured data. Structured data includes your uh, rows and columns tables which we are creating since long. But the unstructured data includes data from uh, social media, data from images, from videos, uh, CCTV footages, how we can use it and get useful insights from it. To manage this unstructured data came big data. After that to understand these data correctly get useful insights there came data science. So you can see data science is an interdisciplinary domain you can say. Okay so includes the statistics, the scientific methods of uh, cleaning data, organizing data. It also includes AI as well as we also analyze the data for our benefit for getting useful insights with data science. So the output is we need to extract meaningful insights from the data. Okay. Now we will quickly see the difference. Artificial intelligence is a wider term. AI includes machine learning, deep learning and data science. AI means how we can create intelligent computer machines, intelligent machines to actually imitate and mimic human behavior. To ease the task of humans and to do work better than humans and more quickly. With that we have machine learning. It is also a subset of AI as you can see here. And it is based on a model that is you will input data and a training basically a model gets created so that you can make predictions like weather predictions, prediction of cyclones, prediction of traffic congestion. It can also include predictions like which team will win the World Cup or even how to predict diseases. So next deep learning is a part of uh, ML machine learning as you can see here. It is a part of machine learning, a subset of machine learning. So it includes complex algorithms of machine learning. You can relate this with neurons like we have neurons in our body. So let's say we have uh, four animals. We are viewing four animals. Two of them are cats and two of them are dogs. How our brain maps, how our brain neurons, how our neurons maps and gives a decision that two of them are cats and two of them are dogs. So this is all in gets included under deep learning such examples. And then we have data science which is a subset of AI as you can see here. It is an area of interdisciplinary subject you can say statistics, uh, scientific method, data analysis to basically extract meaningful data. Okay. Now the data science form as I told you before very easy to understand. To analyze the data is the work of data science to analyze it properly to clean it so that we can generate an output that is an useful insight that is based on predictions. An example would be you can see related videos or suggested videos on YouTube on the basis of what you watch on YouTube. Suggested the Instagram reels you get these days. Suggested uh, shots uh, you get on YouTube on the basis of your preferences. These are all based on data science concepts. Now guys we will see some live examples. Uh, let us view them one by one. So you must have seen these examples before but maybe you were not aware that these are actually data science, AI and machine learning examples. Let's see. So guys beginning with the smartwatch example. So let's say you have a smartwatch. Smartwatch is having sensors on its back. Herein you can see the sensors. So when you will apply it on your wrist, 
here are the sensors you can see here is the sensor okay so when you will apply it on your wrist it will uh, fed a data in it that data will be captured by sensors and a prediction will be in the form of different results i hope you know what is the usage of a smartwatch it will show the predictions of your heart rate your spo2 that is oxygen level and many other stats about your health okay so this is one of the best examples of uh, data science now guys going further we have this google translate which is also an example of an example of data science so let's say you added a russian language text here you gave an input and the google translate algorithms will work to provide you an output in any language let's say english so you fed it an input and you got an output with the, your interest which what you wanted based on predictions so it is also an example of data science google translate now let us go to another example here and you can see uh, this is our prime amazon prime and netflix so these also these video streaming platforms also use the concept of data science now let's say i went for the following movie okay i went for it and here and you can see it is a biographical movie an indian biographical movie okay but while watching the movie or even if you have completed half of the movie or the complete movie you can see uh, you will be shown related videos okay so related videos are based on your preferences so i so it is showing me a, another biographical movie you can see bell bottom and uh, after going further you can see jab him is also biographical razi is also biographical with that sadar uddham singh is also biographical okay so these are based on our own input we just went for the biographical movie and we are getting related videos out of it now moving further let us go with another example of autopilot mode in tesla that is self driving cars these are also based on the data science machine learning concepts so here in you can see the autopilot mode uh, i can't play it due to copyright violations so autopilot mode the driver is not driving the car is automatically detecting other cars humans you can see other cars humans trees other animals so that brakes are applied here in you can see while the driving goes on okay this this car is having a lot of cameras and sensor that will detect different objects so here in you can see i can show you here it is you can see motion flow lane lines all these colors objects if there will be object uh, the following color will be shown for road signs the following for road lights the following color will be this color will be shown okay so this is all based on based on objects trees road signs other vehicles so here it is shown it is having a lot of cameras on it and sensors here it is guys it is having a wide forward camera side cameras main forward camera narrow forward cameras that is around 360 degree of cameras to detect other devices this is also based on the machine learning data science ai concepts so this is a youtube channel you can go to the following copyright youtube came with an algorithm of detecting copyrighted videos so if let's say someone is copying the videos from a youtube channel i'll be getting it here under matches section many people tried copying my videos here and you can see around 466 videos i got it removed from google i generally get such copyrighted emails or notifications from google that someone copied your videos so when i'll click here you can see it is showing me that this is the infringing video url that is a copyright infringement and this is my actual video and the another user which copied my videos is the following that is uh, the following seconds are copied from my video from my original video that is my video amit thinks video this section is copied into the new video by the user so what i did i just created a new removal request i just added my name and i signed it and it automatically got deleted by google so this is a very good feature to help youtubers like us okay now let us go to the slides again so guys these are examples we have used we have shown you others include grammarly also voice assistant like alexa google home siri okay facebook image tagging also is based on these concept whenever you will upload a you will upload an image on facebook it will detect the humans in it and it will show you whether you can tag them they are in your friends list or not they are in your friend list or not 
object detection uh, basically uh, there is a currency finder app or there is also many apps regarding object detection for blind as well as partially blind users so that they can easily detect that which device is visible uh, they can easily get to know through voice control that which currency node they are being now let us move further so programming languages for data science this is a part of roadmap of data science how you can begin with data science so you can work around python or or r for data science so generally you can say you can say python provides a lot of free and open source libraries that will eventually help in working around uh, data science so i both are both are open source but i'll rather prefer python for this so python is an object oriented open source language okay so if you want to begin with python you can easily begin with the basics that is the same loops decision making statement you have been working for c++ java okay with oops concept you can relate it with java's oops concept then came the strings tuples list and dictionary if you know arrays and arrays in java or c++ you can easily relate with them or if you know collections in java you can easily relate with all these tuples list and dictionary with that you can easily go to our website and work around the python introduction installations as well as uh, variables scope of variables operators and loops decision making statement examples python functions uh, tuples dictionary i told you list so till this you can easily work with the basics of python after that guys you can easily work around other topics for python also work with the python uh, file file handling as well as uh, other concepts of python that includes lambda functions with that you can then begin with running your python projects so to run python project you can use any of these uh, frameworks technologies you can say vs code is an open source code editor jupyter notebook will allow you to create run create and run python programs projects on web application like on a web browser you can run your java program pycharm is also an open source id you can also work around these if you want to learn the installation of all these and the sample python project programs and project you can easily visit my youtube channel here and you can see if you will search here let's say i searched for the first one was visual studio code and press enter on pressing enter you can see install visual studio code is visible here with that when you will go below you will be able to find all the options all the videos regarding the same python on vs code you can easily run i've also shown a sample example here here you can see create a first python project with that if you want to work on jupyter notebook just type jupyter here press enter and you can see how to install jupyter notebook and then your first program you can easily work around these okay with that uh, last one i told you was pycharm i have also shown that install python and pycharm you can see okay so you can easily install python and pycharm and run your first project also we have also provided in hindi language as well as english language okay you can also install it on ubuntu and mac also here is ubuntu okay so through this you can easily run your python projects now we will go ahead now to the next slide here you can see after completing the python installations and basics of python you can go around python libraries and play with them they are open source easy to install so here in you can see we have numpy pandas and matplotlib matplotlib and seaborn there are a lot of python libraries but uh, i would rather prefer you to go for for these four libraries okay so numpy is basically based on numerical data that is the array object of numpy is very strong in uh, easily handling numerical data with pandas you can easily work with a tabular data like uh, your csv files including rows and columns if you have a bigger data set let's say netflix data set or uh, titanic data set you can easily work around work with pandas to accomplish your work easily okay then came the matplotlib library and seaborn which are based on visualizations so if you want to create bar graphs uh, pie chart histograms easily you can easily work around matplotlib and seaborn seaborn is basically an extended version form of matplotlib you can say so if you want to install any of these libraries and work with the first sample program you can go to my youtube channel again so here in if you will type uh, let's say type any library i'll type uh, i just told you pandas 
okay press enter and herein you can see you can easily install pandas uh, you can go for uh, other libraries also or you can directly go to this youtube video this will allow you to install the top three major uh, libraries of uh, of python so with that you can easily work with the sample program herein you can see i have shown how we can read a csv file a comma separated value file in pandas you can easily work around this video and uh, other videos are also shown okay but before that you need to also install python so here is the program to install python since these are python libraries now numpy you can easily type numpy here and you will get all the numpy videos in the same way I have also shown matplotlib okay so here it is install matplotlib on python 3.10 you can work around these videos with that you can see some other python libraries for data science in 2022 you can also work around these uh, libraries and uh, the installations and the first program I have shown on my youtube channel okay so you can work around these you can also work around some python libraries if you are if you are very much interested in game development or for web scrapping you can also work around these so python has a lot of uh, free and open source libraries so that you can accomplish your goal okay guys so data science for freshers as well as experience i should say experience we all know why everybody wants to why many people many working professional wants to switch to data science because it is said that you get uh, the demand of data science is the trending skill and uh, will definitely get a good salary hike after completing your certifications and after completing some good good life projects so basically certifications are provided by many websites you can check online by simply learn uh, great learning and many other websites or you can directly go to self study stuff and you can refer a youtube channel or many other great websites you can say i have mentioned here you can also go to kaggle.com okay so when you'll go to kaggle.com you can see the competitions are visible just log into this website and you will be provided with awesome data sets first so that you can easily work around these data sets and you can also work around these competitions and try to get some good ranks okay at first i would rather suggest you to go through these data sets and work around them if you are a beginner in python and python libraries try to work around this try to at least begin with counting the rows and columns then getting the column values column headings and fetching the data cleaning the data analyzing the data and other stuff this will easily help you in working around data science so you can ask me questions now in the comment section i'll be happy to help you so you can also email me these questions and you can also go to my youtube channel and directly ask me questions in any of the comments or under community also so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it uh, do subscribe to our channel do share this video with others thank you